Hello, oh, this is Saka Bean, and today we are going to r slash rules horror so we can read some nice spooky stories. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. And with the first story, welcome to your new school. I say you're a new student here, so I will be more than happy to introduce you to my friends, the staff, and give you a tour, as well as telling you our school policies. 1. Principal A392 will be speaking in gibberish, but just pretend like you understand what he is saying. Rumor has it that he is an alien that looks like a human, and if you ask him to repeat himself, he'll wish you, you'll wish you never knew how to speak. 2. Ignore any and all smells throughout the school. No matter how foul, owl, exotic, or nice things smell, do not acknowledge it. The janitor has been trying some new cleaning solutions that doesn't like criticisms or compliments. 3. If the lights go out, hold your breath until they come back on. It looks for people who have lungs so he can use them for himself. If you happen to take a breath when the lights go out, grab a pencil and shove in your eyes as hard as you can. Because he will make sure to keep you alive the whole time while he takes your lungs. 4. Always compliment the math teacher in this, this order. Her hair, top, pants, socks, and shoes. Any other way and she will subject you to the, uh, the most unimaginable torture. 5. The lunch served here is so inedible that you will most likely puke from, just from the sight alone. But you need to eat it anyways. The lunch they use are like the janitor and hate criticism. But they love compliments. So make sure to mention... That the taste of fingernails, feces, hair, and sweat tastes amazing. Wow. That's the most normal rule in this list so far. 6. The PE teacher doesn't take no for an answer, so no matter how hard you... How hard are, are the task you assign, I mean, you must do it before the end of class, or else face a horrible end. 7. The hall monitors have... Ooh. So whatever you do, make sure you're always on time for your class, is, or they will take your legs and put them in tomorrow's lunch. 8. The science teacher is the only one in the whole school who is somewhat normal, so you can trust her. Just be sure to ignore her missing head. 9. If you notice there's a shadow in the hallway, run. Run so fast that you're on the other side of the school. Trust me, getting caught by her is worse than getting caught by the hall monitors. 10. Make sure that during your study time, you are studying for every second that you are in that classroom, no matter how loud the cries for help become. The tutor wants every student to, su to succeed. She only means to help by making sure every student is working hard, or else your Achilles heel will be torn by a pair of rusty scissors. Painful. 11. If you notice your nose is bleeding, don't ask to go to the nurse's office. Everyone who enters never leaves except for one person, and he has been tr so traumatized that the only thing he can say is the word scalpel. 12. Let's break of these rules most likely result in certain deaths, so make sure to follow these rules to the letter. 13. Disregard all these rules except rule number 183, the exact opposite of what you are told. Do not copy the others. They are your doom. 14. Redacted. Have a great day at school, friend. Now we're going to go on to the next one. Don't look up. I have no time to explain. They're already here, so just follow my instructions. Do not look up. Looking at them is going to drive you insane. 2. Do tell others to not look up. We all need to survive this together. 3. Eliminate anyone who asks you to look up. They're its minions. 4. Ignore the voices. They aren't real and we have no help. 
Got a food and supplies. We don't know how long this will go on. You must survive. Find shelter. A house will do. Don't choose a building. There's enough space for them to enter. Wait for the rain. Water is a weakness. Then you will have survived them. Be safe and survive. Hmm. That was interesting. UDA! Emergency pro protocol. Voice recording sites. Attention to all members of UDA branch C09. We're under attack. I repeat, we're under attack. Refer to page 46 of the UDA, a manual for safety measures. The guidelines are being broadcast here as well. 1. Shut down all win doors and windows. We can't let them see the set free the unnaturals. 2. Protect the unnaturals with your life. We can't let them gain comrades. 3. Get arms from the armory and be prepared to come to be to engage in combat. Wow, I fucked up the line. 4. Our enemies are not just unnatural for our human too. So prepare yourselves. 5. Protect your place with your life, damn it. 6. I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. Please let me go. Hello? Uh um it seems the UDA guys can't understand crap unless as it's given in in rules. So listen to these rules. Obey us or die. You people chose the wrong side of the war. But I'm a kind man. Hence, I'll give you a chance. Drop your arms and come out. I'll let you join us. Kill anyone who doesn't agree. We are the unnatural fanatics. Submit yourself to these supernatural beings and join us in the creation of a new world. Hell unnaturals. Voice recording ends. Well, that was an interesting way to end it. Hi, I think this is the best place to post this. It's why you can be read as fictional, because it is. It's not a real story. They aren't real. If they aren't real, look away. Trust me, it's for your own good. But if they were and you knew about them, but they aren't and you don't, here are some tips. 1. Don't acknowledge them. If you're reading this, you've done good so far. You don't have to look the other way. But I know people who've gotten too curious and then they left. Don't look for them. They aren't real. 2. Keep your lights on. Yeah, I know, you always hear that, but things are scary in the dark. You're more likely to jump, and that's when monsters come out. If, in theory, they were real. That would be when they interact the most. 3. If you hear voices, don't talk back. Don't look at the voices. You are hearing things, and they aren't actually there. Keep doing what you're doing. 4. If you hear something telling you to do what you're, you're about to do, turn on the lights, answer her, etc., don't do it. I don't care what it is. If you weren't doing it before, you, you don't need to know. Give other things to do, but if you're in the middle of doing it, don't stop. Go through with it. It's your choice. No one is telling you to. You're alone. On any ways. 5. If you see something moving out of the corner of your eye, you're just imagining things. Don't turn. Don't look. You will see it everywhere. You get used to it. Just remember, it's not real. Don't interact. Six. Tell no one what you see. No friends, no family. You want to want on to pass if you're on to them. You'll only hurt them more. Don't distract them with your delusions. Seven. If you see something that happens to someone, you saw nothing. Say nothing. It was an unfortunate disappearance. Nothing more. Eight. If you've broken a rule, I'm sorry. There's nothing to do. Everyone who tries to play the hero just ends up leaving as well. I'm sorry if I seem a little disjointed. I haven't been getting much sleep. It's just a mix of insomnia and bad nightmares, of course. But there's nothing to worry about. Stay safe. It's dangerous out there.
And here we are, the final story. If it will load. Hey, the recording hasn't broken today. Cyclical. When you blink and you stare down and you see this unscat of the body. You do not scream. You do not cry. You are used to f this feeling by now. They stare at you. They know your change of tone. They see you adjust your posture. Check your watch. The time doesn't matter. You spaced out. That's all they need to know. I hear my voice. Will you be okay? You do not nod. You do not speak. Not now. Not with all these eyes. You reply no. Not speak. Reply. Do you understand the rules by now? This has happened a thousand times. You wake up already awake and you're just like switching gears in a machine. You understand your pitch, your intonation. You change it to who was awake before you. People are perceptive, you know. You see the way you examined your outfit. They don't understand, but they see... They judge. You will check your notes. You never know what was written before you. You check your camera roll, your bag, this body. Make sure it is as unscathed as you remember. If the last one didn't treat as well as they should, you'll have to have a talk with them. I want you to fall asleep again, dressed in familiar fabrics and what you can call your own. Perhaps you wake up, not you, them, they, you, will draw eyes. People, not you, not them, will ask questions. Why are you talking weird? Why are you dressed like that? What happened to you? Them. I cannot answer them for you, not me, just as you cannot answer them for me, not you. Please assemble. I am proud of you nonetheless, but you know how harsh others can get. You've seen what they've said to you and me. They said I, you, don't belong here. They never say what here means. They say I, you, should be blocked, should be locked up. They ask questions and they will never understand the answers, will they? They don't want to. Keep quiet for me. For what you need to do, it can be okay. I can get through this. I can continue this masquerade forever. Long, long day, people, not me, not me, ask. I can do it together. I hear your voice and I nod. They look at me and they say nothing. They saw. They will not lock me up for seeing. Maybe one day they could see more. Today is not that day, but one day. One day. Maybe one day I can be you, me, we. Well, that was interesting. Now that was r slash rules horror. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!